the H1B guy here, and today, the H1B guy forecast. June 2022, Visa Bulletin Employment Based Predictions. It's the first Monday of the month, and that means it's time for my monthly employment based Visa Bulletin predictions. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention the H1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues in the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. If I can help you, please reach out. I'd love to hear how. And you can book an appointment directly with me via the h1bguy.com. Today's post is brought to you by Syndesis and Path to Canada, the ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain, by perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process, and by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa-related challenges? If your OPT is about to expire and you were not selected in the recent H-1B lottery, Mob Squad has a solution. Join the squad. Well, I wanted to thank everyone who checked out the H-1B Guy Forecast May 2022 Visa Bulletin Employment-Based Predictions that posted on April 1st. And also for checking out the H-1B Guy Grades May 2022 Visa Bulletin Predictions versus the actual bulletin released that posted on April 14th, where I reviewed my May 2022 forecast. If you're new to this channel, I cover employment-based immigration benefits, including the monthly visa bulletin predictions. Last month, I graded out at 81%, 13 out of 16. I'll continue to use the bulletins from six months prior, as well as last month's bulletin to identify if there are any noticeable trends, starting with the May 2022 visa bulletins number of days for movement month over month, as well as the number of days forward movement over the last six months from December 2021's Visa Bulletin. So let's get into the May 2022 Visa Bulletin final action dates for Indian EB1, May 1st, 2022, 30 days forward movement month over month, 151 days forward in the last six months. In EB2, September 1st, 2013, 55 days forward movement month over month, 488 days forward movement in the last six months. And EB3, January 15th, 2012, no forward movement month over month and no forward movement in the last six months. For final action dates for China in EB1, May 1st, 2022, 30 days forward movement month over month and 151 days forward in the last six months. EB2, March 1st, 2019, no forward movement month over month and 59 days forward in the last six months. EB3, March 22nd, 2018, no forward movement month over month, and no forward movement in the last six months. For El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras for final action dates in EB4, May 1st, 2017, no forward movement month over month, and 683 days of retrogression in the last six months. And for final action dates for Mexico in EB4, April 1st, 2020, no forward movement month over month, and no movement in the last six months. Moving on to dates of filing from the May 2022 Visa Bulletin for India in EB1, May 1st, 2022, 30 days forward movement month over month, and 151 days forward in the last six months. For EB2, December 1st, 2014, 91 days forward movement month over month, and 511 days forward in the last six months. EB3, January 22nd, 2012, no forward movement month over month, and no movement in the last six months. For China, for dates of filing in EB1, May 1st, 2022, 30 days forward movement month over month, and 151 days forward in the last six months. For EB2, April 1st, 2019, no forward movement month over month, and no movement in the last six months. EB3, April 1st, 2018, no forward movement month over month, and no movement in the last six months. 
And for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras for dates of filing in EB4, June 15th, 2017. No forward movement month over month and 699 days of retrogression in the last six months. So with all of that being said, let's forecast June 2022's Visa Bulletin for Employment-Based Preferences. Disclaimer, these dates are completely made up guesses based on my own personal hunches and historical data. For the June 2022 Visa Bulletin, the H-1B guy forecast final action dates for India in EB-1, June 1st, 2022, EB-2, November 1st, 2013, EB-3, January 15th, 2012. For final action dates for China in EB-1, I predict June 1st, 2022, EB-2, March 1st, 2019, EB-3, March 22nd, 2018. For El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, for final action dates in EB-4, I predict May 1st, 2017. And for Mexico, for final action dates in EB-4, I predict April 1st, 2020. Moving on to dates of filing for the June 2022 Visa Bulletin, I predict in India, EB-1, June 1st, 2022. EB-2, February 1st, 2015. EB-3, January 22nd, 2012. For China, for dates of filing in EB-1, I predict June 1st, 2022. EB-2, April 1st, 2019. EB-3, April 1st, 2018. And for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, for dates of filing in EB-4, I predict June 15th, 2017. So to recap, I'm forecasting final action dates for India and EB-1 will move 31 days forward. Final action dates for EB-2 and India will move 61 days forward. No forward movement for final action for EB-3 India. Final action for EB-1 and China will move 31 days forward. No forward movement for final action EB-2 for China. No forward movement for final action EB-3 for China. No forward movement for final action for EB-4 for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras and no forward movement for final action EB-4 for Mexico. For dates of filing for India and EB-1 will move 31 days forward. Dates of filing for India and EB-2 will move 62 days forward. No forward movement for dates of filing for India and EB-3. Dates of filing for China and EB-1 will move 31 days forward. No forward movement for dates of filing for China and EB-2. No forward movement for dates of filing for China and EB-3 and no forward movement for dates of filing for EB-4 for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. Now it's time to forecast the release date of June's Visa Bulletin. I'm predicting Friday, May 13th, 2022 as the release date of the June 2022 Visa Bulletin, with Monday, May 16th, 2022, and Thursday, May 12th, 2022 as my second and third options. Recapping those release dates again, first, Friday, May 13th, 2022, second, Monday, May 16th, 2022, and third, Thursday, May 12th, 2022. Once the June 2022 Visa Bulletin is released, I'll put together the H-1B Guy grades to see how I did with this month's predictions. For the full post on the H-1B Guy forecast, June 2022, Visa Bulletin Employment-Based Predictions, please check out the h1bguide.com. And a reminder that today's post is brought to you by Syndesis and Path to Canada, the ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. If you're facing an H-1B denial or OPT expiration, don't get caught off guard. Make sure you have a plan B and Syndesis and Path to Canada are your answers. To find out if you qualify, please be sure to use the link in the video description below and someone from Synthesis or Path to Canada will be in touch. And also by perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. If you're looking to reduce your costs and overhead associated with perm labor certification recruitment advertising, let perm-ads.com help you. And also by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa challenges? If your OPT is about to expire and you were not selected in the recent H-1B lottery, our partner Mob Squad has a solution. 
Mob Squad helps technology professionals facing U.S. work visa uncertainty remain working with their current U.S. company near shore from Canada and also technology professionals from around the world who are seeking an opportunity to find a rewarding career in North America. They can help you obtain a Canadian work permit for you and your spouse in as little as six to eight weeks. Whether you're looking to stay working with your current U.S. company or you want to find a new opportunity in Canada, please find out how the team at Mob Squad can help you via the link in the video description below. Join the squad. Just wanted to ask you again to please like this video, subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube, and click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content here to this channel. If you made it this far, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H1B Guy, your global source for all things H1B.